everyone, my name is Megan and I'm an occupational therapist here at Sunny Days Therapy. Today I want to teach you how to do a brain tune-up that you can do to help get your body ready for the day, to play, to learn, and most importantly to be able to have fun. There are four steps and it takes about two or three minutes to do this brain tune-up once you learn it. Each step helps the cells in our body get ready to communicate and get both sides of our brain ready to work together. The first step is to get a drink of water. This is also important to do throughout the day because all of the little cells in our body need water to talk with each other, which helps us to move our muscles and to learn new things. So first, we'll get a drink of water. Great. And the next step is brain buttons. So first we have to find our collarbones. These are the hard bones that you can find right underneath your neck. Can you find them? Once you've found them, you're gonna take your little baby shark fingers and put them just below your collarbones. So here's your collarbones, you're gonna go right below them and those are our brain buttons. Our other hand goes on our belly. And then we do little tiny circles on our brain buttons for about 20 seconds. Ready, go. While we do this, think about taking deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you can feel your hand on your belly moving as you take your deep breaths as well. If you want, you can switch your hands halfway through or you can keep your same hand on your brain buttons the whole time. Just a few more seconds, keep taking deep breaths. And good job, now you know how to do brain buttons. The next step is cross crawls. Cross crawls help both sides of our brain talk to each other, which helps us to move both sides of our body and communicate with those around us. There are a few different ways you could do this. So I'll show you the first option first. This option, you're gonna take your opposite hand and touch it to your opposite knee. So you're gonna reach across your body. Parents, if you notice your kiddos having a hard time crossing their body if they're doing the same side, you can give them a little tactile cue. So this hand touches this knee, now make them touch. And you can do the same thing as long as they need. So this hand touches this knee, now make them touch. If they're still having a hard time, um, you can stand across from them and hold their hands. And then you guys are gonna march together and you're gonna help reach their hands across to touch the opposite knee. Okay, so let's go ahead and give these a try and make sure you're moving your body nice and slow so that you're in control of your movements the whole time. When our bodies are feeling frustrated or overwhelmed or upset, our body starts to only use one side of our brain. So cross crawls help our body remember that it's important to use both sides of our brain together. So we do this for about 30 seconds or as long as your body feels like it needs. Good job, so that is cross crawls. And the last step is my favorite. The last step is hookups. So first you're gonna cross your hands and notice which thumb is on top. So my right thumb is on top and we're gonna use that for the next step. So when I, since my right thumb's on top, when I do my hookup, I'm gonna put my right arm on top. And if you had your left thumb on top when you crossed your hands, you're gonna put your left hand on, left arm on top. So cross your arms, and then you're gonna turn your arms over so that your thumbs are facing the floor. And then you're gonna lace your fingers together and bend your elbows so that your hands are resting against your chest. If your arms are uncomfortable or it's tricky to figure out how to do this right away, you can just cross your arms over your chest or you can hide them under your arms. Next, we're gonna cross, you can't see my feet, but you're gonna cross your feet as well. And if it's tricky to balance while you're doing this one or if you notice it's tricky to balance when you're doing cross crawls, you can always do them while you're sitting down. So I'm gonna do a standing hookup. I've got my arms crossed. 
and my feet crossed. And we're gonna take lots of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you're gonna stay in this hook up position until your body feels calm and relaxed. When your body feels ready, you can uncross your arms and legs and then you're gently gonna to touch your fingertips together and keep taking deep breaths until your body is fully relaxed. If your body is ever feeling really upset or really frustrated or overwhelmed, um, you can always start off with hookups. And now you have learned the whole brain tune-up. Nice job. I like to do this brain tune-up to begin my day, to get my brain and my body ready to learn and to have fun and to get everything that I need to get done through the day. It's also helpful to do this before e-learning or as an online break when you're doing, or as a body break while you're doing online learning, or before you're about to take on a challenging task. I hope your body is feeling regulated and calm and ready to take on the rest of the day. Thanks for spending this time with me.